Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I really wanted to talk about traveling with frozen breast milk. If you guys are new here, I'm a mom of two children and I have another one on the way, actually. I have a graduate degree in quantum chemistry. On my channel, I talk a lot about frugal living, all things motherhood, all things exclusively pumping, breastfeeding. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos on these topics. I do have several videos already on uh, pumping milk, storing milk exclusively pumping and breastfeeding videos so please be sure to check them out and please subscribe to my channel and let's go ahead and start this video so in today's video I wanted to talk about how to travel with frozen breast milk or how to travel with breast milk in general so I have these two bricks with breast milk and this one and this one and today I want to explain how I traveled with breast milk and kept it frozen by plane. So we had to go through security and before I traveled I did a bunch of research trying to figure out the easiest way. There is a way to travel with dry ice uh, which is supposed to be the best way but I looked into it and uh, it didn't seem very convenient. First of all, I didn't know where I would get dry ice and secondly, you need like the same amount by weight in dry ice as you do breast milk. So it just seems excessive, like it would be way too heavy to travel with that. And so what I did is um, all you need is your breast milk, a bag to transport it in and a bag uh, needs to be insulated. This one is not, but um, the one I used then was insulated and you also need these reusable these reusable ice packs so these ones I just got them off Amazon also this one um, I just got them off Amazon and they're super convenient and they kept my milk completely frozen the entire flight so it was really good and easy to do it this way much easier than with dry ice also they're pretty light and they're reusable so I just thought this was the most cost-effective efficient way and frugal way to travel with frozen breast milk so let's get started. So this bag, like I said, it's not an insulated bag. Also, it's too big for this amount of breast milk, but just for the sake of explanation, I will use this one. The one I used before, I already sold, sold it just to make the money back. The one I used before uh, was insulated. So what you wanna do is in your bag, you place uh, like a good ice pack on the bottom and then you place the bags. I put them in this way like this and the bricks uh, these things the bricks they need to be packed really tightly the tighter the better so you put them in like so so this is what it looks like and then you line them with um, these ice packs so since the milk itself is frozen it will act like an ice pack for itself but on the edges, you really need to make sure you're pull it, putting a lot of um, ice and ice packs in. So this is how I did it. So this is what it looks like now. There's still a bunch of space left over and that's not a good thing. So what you do, so what you do with that is, is you need a bunch of newspapers. Uh, these are our ads, ad newspapers, and you just scrunch them up and try to fill in all the gaps. You want to have as little air in the back as possible uh, so that it stays colder for longer. So I did it. You scrunch it up and you line the whole bag with newspapers. You would also use an ice pack for the top, um, but I can't find an extra ice pack. So for the sake of the video, I will show you how I did it. Basically, you want to shove in as much newspaper as it would fit to completely cover Okay. 
crap. So this is what it looks like. It's completely full now. You can definitely fit in more newspaper. Normally if I was traveling with this, I would really fill it up with newspaper or I would probably get like a smaller bag. Um, and of course, like you can use more ice packs too. The more ice you have kind of surrounding, um, surrounding your bricks, the better. And so this is how you travel with breast milk. Now what I found when I was traveling is that it's actually easier to transport frozen milk than it was to transport unfrozen milk like thawed milk or milk that was like in bottles so the frozen milk they just made me open the bag at uh, uh, TSA just made me open the bag they looked inside and that's all they did I didn't have to like unpack everything I didn't have to do anything but with with uh, wet milk they opened it they like swiped the bottle the outside they opened the milk and i think they like uh kind of like swished the little testing strip above the milk i didn't really like that in particular like they tested i guess that's like explosive testing so i didn't really like that so yeah in general i found it easier to travel with frozen milk than thawed milk which i thought like it would be the other way around but apparently it wasn't so this is how i traveled with my frozen breast milk guys i did find it to be pretty stress-free in terms of like a bag of frozen milk uh, i was a lot more stressful traveling with uh, like thawed um uh, it wasn't actually thought it was like freshly pumped milk. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'm sure I didn't cover a lot of things. And this is a, like, you can go deep into this topic, kind of like how to travel, how long, how soon the milk has to be used after it's thawed. So I can answer all of those questions in the comments. Please just drop them down in the comments. I will answer all the questions that I get. And also please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I do have a lot of uh, videos already on uh, pumping milk, how I was storing it in uh, chest freezers, how I was like organizing it. I did have a ton of pumped milk to the point where we have uh, two chest freezers. One is 10 cubic feet, one is 7.5 I think or something like that cubic feet. So I had a ton of pumped milk and I was pumping exclusively for my first child. So I have a lot of information on that. So please don't hesitate to leave me questions and please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you do find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out and helps me with my channel. And yeah, I would love to see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.